Fox for five minutes. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> Today, I rise to talk about a blight that nearly rendered the American chestnut extinct and recognize a teacher in Alexander County, North Carolina, who's helping lead in the rebirth of these great trees. The American chestnut was once the dominant hardwood species in the eastern, North, eastern United States. Prior to the European colonization of North America, American chestnut trees were found in vast stands from Maine to Florida, with the largest trees occurring in the southern Appalachians. When early European settlers arrived, the species was used in many different ways, including providing timber and tools. The edible nut was also a significant contributor to the rural economy. Families would collect the nuts to sell and eat, and they were also used as feed for livestock. Domesticated hogs and cattle were often fattened for market by allowing the animals to gorge themselves on these highly nutritious nuts. Chestnut ripening occur coincided with the Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays, and turn-of-the-century newspaper clippings show train cars rolling into major cities that were overflowing with chestnuts to be sold fresh or roasted. The American chestnut was truly a heritage tree. However, the booming trade industry introduced fungal diseases that would change the species composition of eastern North American forest. A root rot disease thought to have caused mortality of chestnuts in low moist areas infested southern populations of the American chestnut and constricted its natural range. This fungal disease was followed by the more commonly known chestnut blight, which spread about eastern hardwood forests at a rate of up to 50 miles per year. By the 1950s, virtually all mature American chestnut trees had succumbed to the disease, and this cat catastrophe became known as one of the worst ecological disasters in the United States. The American chestnut has been relegated to a minor understory component, existing as sprouts from old stumps and root systems. Today, modern techniques are being used to bring the species back from near extinction, but the success of these efforts will be the result of decades of genetic hybridization. The American Chestnut Foundation has embarked on an elaborate and time-consuming breeding program to develop a tree that can withstand blight and exhibit virtually every characteristic of the American chestnut of the past. By backcrossing the American chestnut with the blight-resistant Chinese chestnut, the foundation has produced the restoration chestnut. Last December, the American Chestnut Foundation planted four restoration chestnuts on the campus of Alexander Central High School in Taylorsville. Becky Dupuy, a bi biotech and biology teacher with Alexander County Schools, has partnered with the foundation to gather information about the health, diversity, and blight resistance of these trees. Her students will actively participate in collecting data, documenting growth rates, and transplanting American chestnut sprouts in Alexander County. Ms. Dupuy should be commended for raising awareness about the American chestnut and for her work to reintroduce these giants to their rightful place in Alexander County and America's ecosystem. I yield back. The gentlewoman.